I think we all know that creating dialogue is the first step, and um, you know we've been push, pushing for equality and equal pay in women's football. We actually have a lawsuit against our employer, uh, myself, and four other teammates who filed it going on two years ago with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. And that started with us dialogue. It started with us saying, look, we're the best team in the world. We've been the most successful team for the United States Soccer Federation. We brought in dollars for the Federation in 2016 and then lost $5 million for the Federation in 2016, yet we're getting paid $0.25 cents for the dollar. So this isn't just about, you know, the, the overall concept of equality. It's also just about the money. We're paying $5 million and making negative cost of $5 million. And then you fast forward to the sister of my sister, and ticket sales are done. projected to have a negative loss of $1 million. So this started on this season. And then suddenly we got the president of the United States, we got Congressman Hennessy, we got former President Barack Obama Hennessy, we got Hillary Clinton Hennessy. All of a sudden, we had so much support from men and women across the globe. And we're still waiting uh, to see what happens with our lawsuit. This law was passed in 50 years ago, in 1962 or 1963 by John F. Kennedy, and yet we're still pushing to have equal pay. It was passed 60 years ago, but we still can't enforce it. We have to enforce it ourselves. And that's what I've learned is people don't want to give up power. You know, you can't just ask nicely for something to give up power, whether, whether that's the U.S. Office that brings in or FIFA, or even, you know, the men wanting to Gymnast Gabby Douglas says she too was sexually abused by Team Doctor. In an Instagram post on Tuesday, Olympian Gabby Douglas, 21, added her name to the long list of gymnasts who say they were sexually abused by Larry Nasser, the one-time doctor for the USA Gymnastics team. Douglas posted a lengthy message in which she responded to criticism that she'd victim shamed 2016 teammate Ali Reisman on Friday by tweeting that it's a woman's duty to dress modestly so as not to attract the wrong crowd. In doing so, she implied that she too had been abused by Nasser, who's been accused by more than 100 girls and women of sexual assault during his tenure with as a team doctor. I didn't view my comments as victim shaming because I know that no matter what you wear, it never gives anyone the right to harass or abuse you, Douglas wrote. It would be like saying that because of the leotards we wore, it was our fault that we were abused by Larry Nasser. Douglas's spokesperson has confirmed that the 2016 Olympic gold medalist was in fact accusing Nasser of sexual abuse. Michaela Maroney and Ray Isman, Douglas's teammates at the 2012 and 2016 Olympics, respectively, have already leveled similar claims against the doctor. Nasser served as USA Gymnastics team physician for nearly 20 years, starting in 1996. The organization fired him in 2015. In June, Nasser pleaded guilty to federal child pornography charges and faces up to 27 years in prison. His sentencing is scheduled for December. Nasser's lawyer Matt Newberg told Fortune on Wednesday that because of a gag order, we cannot comment on Douglas's allegations. Douglas wrote her Instagram post to address comments she'd made in response to Ray Isman who last week tweeted that a woman's sexy wardrobe doesn't give a man the right to shame her or not believe her when she comes forward with sexual abuse. Douglas retweeted the message, 
but added that women have the responsibility to dress modestly and be classy. The comment prompted outcry of victim shaming, including from Olympic champion Simone Biles, another 2016 teammate of Douglas's, who said she was shocked by Douglas's response. H honestly seeing this brings me to tears BC as your teammate I expected more from you and to support her, Biles wrote. In her Instagram post on Tuesday, Douglas said she didn't share her experiences until now because for years we were conditioned to stay silent and honestly some things were extremely painful, she said. I wholeheartedly support my teammates for coming forward with what happened to them. The sentiment seemed to echo criticism Ray Isman leveled at USA Gymnastics in a recent 60 Minutes interview. In the segment, Ray Isman asked what the organization had done to manipulate these girls so much that they are so afraid to speak up, 